Hey everyone, it's Bargain Princess! This time with no makeup, but this is a continuation on my skincare routine focusing on pimples. Like I mentioned in that video, I still get breakouts here and there, but not as bad as before. They're like little little tiny baby pimples. They're tolerable. Once in a while, once in a blue moon, I'll get that big huge sucker. But the product that I'm about to show you is really, really great and effective way to clear up my acne and target and reduce and let it be gone the next day. <laughs> so if anything, by far, my two favorite, favorite products is hydrogen peroxide and tea tree oil. Oh my god. <laughs> I've had this bottle now for years and this seriously has saved my life. The only side effect is you might experience some dryness, some flakiness, itchiness, but nothing like a little bit of moisturizer won't help, right? <laughs> but like I mentioned, this is so pungent. A little bit of this on your face goes a long way. If you live in a house with other people, oh man. You won't hear the end of it. People will be complaining. They won't want to be near you. They'll be, oh my god, you stink. Oh, what's that on your face? Ugh. Who cares? I'm pretty sure they've seen worse things and smelt worse things than smelling this on your face. So I definitely recommend tea tree oil. Sometimes I'll apply hydrogen peroxide on top of that pimple and then wait for this to dry and then apply tea tree oil on top all using either q-tips or cotton balls. Sometimes I like to use this more when I pop my pimple because like I mentioned, I'm a pimple picker and it's so bad, but sometimes you just can't help it, especially when you see that like white head or that pus, just, you just gotta pop it. <laughs> but that's why I like to follow up with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to kind of clean that area and disinfect it just so it's not going to get infected in the long run. Oh, so gross. So here's a few other products that I used and loved at the time, especially burpees with willow bark and salicylic acid. Amazing. It's kind of like tea tree oil, but a lot less pungent. And of course, I've tried out Proactive like many others with acne, and by far the refining mask was my favorite to spot treat. Unfortunately, my skin got used to it and I didn't find it as effective anymore. So then I purchased the 10% Sulfur Treatment from Dera Cruz on Amazon. I liked it, but of course my skin got used to it. And oh my god, can we talk about the smell? This smells like rotten eggs. So gross. So I ended up trying a different sulfur treatment from Murad, which contained only 3% sulfur. It worked for a little while, didn't work as fast drying up the acne though, but at least it didn't smell like rotten eggs. <laughs> Here's another spot treatment by Clean and Clear, which I actually liked way more. It contained salicylic acid, which my face loves. It was a lot more affordable and was much more convenient to carry and apply anywhere because it came out clear. And last but not least, I recommend Kate Somerville Eradicate. It contains sulfur as well, but once again, my face just got used to it. So that is it. That is my tips and tricks on how I tame and get rid of my acne. Let me know in the comment section down below what tips and tricks you like to use. Have you tried any of these that I showed you? Leave it all in the comment section down below. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Get my channel out there. It helps me a lot and I truly appreciate it. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button wherever that button is. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! It is the OCC Lip Tar Mini Lip Set. I love...